What's up? Rob here, Old City Vapor, with another video edition of Freaking Weird Wednesday. And uh, this one is going to be, well, it's about a haunted house. Yep. Do you ever have any of those old creepy houses in your neighborhood when you were growing up as a kid? Or who knows, maybe today. Like, maybe you just came from one. Maybe you live in one. That's something to think about. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, there was this uh, haunted house in my neighborhood that uh, everybody talked about. Wait a minute. I used to live in that house. No, there's another one. Believe it or not, there's a few. Uh, but this one in particular that I'm going to talk about right now it was this little, little creepy two-story, little, did I emphasize little? Uh, little abandoned, rundown, uh, dilapidated, abandoned, forever. As long as I can remember, nobody lived in this house. And I always wondered why. It was weird. Uh, anyway, we used to go there and hang out. <laughs> because that's what weird kids do, right? Hey, uh, so, yeah, me and my friends would sometimes just kind of go, you know, hang out, plunder around sit in the old creepy house and uh, just do what weird kids do I guess I don't know anyway um, one night in particular I was I started going to this place when I was probably nine or ten something like that I'd always see it be driving by and I'd see it I'd look at it out of the car window you know my mom would be driving yo what's up with that house it looks haunted. <laughs> My mom would be like, yeah, that's an old empty house. Yeah, it's old. Stay away from it. Everybody that I talked to or asked about it, yeah, stay away from it. What the? Why? I was the inquisitive kid. Why should I stay away from it? Nobody could say. So what did I do? First chance I got, I went to check it out on my own. <laughs> of course. Hmm. So, uh, like I say, I started going there when I was pretty young. Um, this particular story had a few little kind of weird ones happen when I was younger. But this one was probably when I was about 15 or 16 years old. Um, a couple of my friends were hanging out. And uh, one of my friends, his cousin was in town. And uh, she had never been to St. Augustine, you know, and... Uh, we were hanging out, and she's like, well, is there anything cool to do, in, you know, that we can do in this town? And we were like, um, yeah, let's go to the haunted house. And she was like, ah, cool. And I could tell, I could tell she was, she was thinking we're in St. Augustine, you know. There's the old fort, the old jail, the fountain of youth, you know, there's all these tourist attractions. And I could tell she thought the haunted house was, you know the haunted house where you pay you know three dollars or five dollars to get in you know and people in masks jump out and scare you oh but little did she know when we started walking down the street heading to the old haunted house and we got there and she was like this isn't like this is an old house <laughs> We were like, exacta mundo. We go for the real deal here, honey. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't too terribly stoked on it, but she agreed to check it out, you know. She was like, you know, with her cousin and four of his crazy friends. And so she wasn't going to back down now, no. So we went in to check it out. Like I say, we'd been in before. This was the first time she'd ever been in there. The downstairs. You could pretty much go in the front door of this place. And it was open. You could pretty much see the whole layout. You could see the little kitchen area, the little living room area, the little tiny bathroom with a shower, a sink, and a toilet, and a little sleeping area. It was pretty much like a little, what you would call today a studio apartment. 
but it was a two-story house and the upstairs was pretty much the same um, the one trick to the upstairs was there was no stairs on the inside to get upstairs so you had to go on the outside of the house to get to the second level so that was where the tricky part came in because the stairs were so rotten and dilapidated that it was always a chore to get up there uh, but we figured hey you know if it's uh, hard to do it must be worth doing right so we all decided to go upstairs and check out the upstairs first and hang out there for a little bit because we knew nobody was going to come up there and mess with us or did we anyway we all my first first guy up the stairs my first friend there he's had to be part monkey because he's just like e -e 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 -e. he was right up the steps you know and these were treached dilapidated steps from hell with nails sticking out and boards missing and one part where you had to walk up the side of the house like on a two by four for about six feet and yeah it was sketchy to say the least um we all got up there though me being the fat kid i was the slowest and last one but i made it um so we hung out upstairs for a while not a whole lot up there lots of dust lots of uh funky uh dust and funky feelings because it's now dark and we're hanging out in an old abandoned some would say haunted house um but nothing was happening nothing weird it was just a quiet evening uh under the florida stars that were starting to show um so we're hanging out talking ghost stories and you know trying to scare each other and everybody was trying to impress the girl with the uh, scary story i don't know why that would impress her but anyway uh nothing really going on so we decided to go back downstairs and uh, check it out it had you know a couple pieces of old furniture and some other stuff to check out it wasn't just a vacant empty upstairs and uh so we managed to all get back down the stairs somewhat safely uh my monkey friend you know of course doop, 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 right down the steps you know jumped off on the ground spun around like it was in some kind of you know carnival act or something and uh everybody else is you know slowly tediously making their way down uh, i hear this yeah! yeah my one friend caught a nail in the leg and uh, ripped his jeans and put a nice little uh gash gasherooski on his uh leg he wasn't too impressed. He was kind of crying like a baby for a few minutes. Wasn't really crying, but he was whimpering. Uh, we all got downstairs safely. We assessed the damage to the old chap's leg, and we determined that, in fact, he would be able to keep his leg. Uh, wasn't going to lose it or anything. Um, so it was all good. <laughs> we went in the downstairs, the front door. We went back in. We're hanging out. We're talking, you know. And the girl's asking, what is this place? And we were all like, um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, and everybody had their own answer, you know. Oh, this crazy lady used to live here. No, it was a crazy old man, you know. Get off my lawn, kid. You know, everybody had their own story about it. But it was all just made up. Malarkey. Uh, because nobody knew what the place was. And, uh... To be quite honest, I still don't know what, how it ended up being abandoned and dilapidated and funky and sitting there myself. But anyway, for years it was like that. Years and years and years. The whole time I was growing up. Into my 20s and 30s. And the place was just always empty. It was weird. Why would a place be empty that long? There must be... Mm, there must have been a reason. <laughs> if you think about it anyway we're hanging out and uh we're all talking and we hear all of a sudden bam and it came from upstairs and it sounded like somebody had a two by ten leaned up on the uh, wall and it fell over and hit the hardwood floor directly above us it was very loud uh you could feel it 
and we were all basically going, what the freaking heck was that? Um, I think there may some, we may have said it differently. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're all just like, what was that? What's going on? What you know? There's nobody up there. There's there's nothing up there. You know, blah blah blah. We decided, well, somebody must have, you know, messed with something, and uh, you know, it just fell over. That was the voice of reason, right? Something fell over that we messed with up there, and we're all like, yeah, I think that's what it was. And as we're trying to convince ourselves of that. The next thing you know, we hear footsteps coming from the floor directly above us. Somebody's walking across the floor. Uh, obvious footsteps uh, across the floor above us, which was kind of peculiar because, uh, like I say, we had just come from up there and there was nobody there. And there was only one way to get up there and one way to get out of there that we knew of unless they came through the portal of hell I don't know anyway about that time again when we're all like you could have heard a pin drop other than we're hearing footsteps during that as we're all like got our heads turned looking listening to footsteps and eyeballing the door another loud bang happens and this time it's not from upstairs oh no it's from downstairs in the room that we're in the one big room well not big remember I said it was a small place but it was a big noise in a small room and flashlights are going everywhere we're looking we don't see anything we don't see anybody you know I'm expecting I'm in a dark old dilapidated crappy abandoned haunted house and I'm expecting to see flashlights somebody standing in the corner <laughs> you know something and my mind's going a million miles a minute um, then it sounds like somebody threw a handful of nuts and bolts across the floor and flashlights are going everywhere people are running around now that was the moment that the sheer panic arrived <laughs> um, but no it got better because yeah the the girl my friend's cousin she's like screw it I'm done runs for the door she grabs the door she goes to open the door except just like in the horror movies you know it the door won't open <laughs> the door that we all came in earlier that is always open was now unopenable what the so every she's screaming she's on the front door ah! she's tugging on it beating on it everybody's freaking out uh me somehow i had the bright idea of I'm going through the window. Phew, that's right where I went. Uh, took half the glass with me. Um, uh, the fat kid made the biggest hole for everybody else to promptly follow through. Uh, right out into the side yard on this house is where we all ended up uh, exiting the window. One, sometimes two at a time, I think. <laughs> um, I got no idea what was going on in there other than the smell of poop was in the air because it scared the crap out of us um, we were all standing out in the yard we went around we were on the side yard we went around to the front we all have our flashlights we're all looking we're looking up in the window I expect to see somebody standing in the window looking down you know or freaking devil or something I don't see anything but an old dilapidated funky beat down abandoned old house and about that time the front door that wouldn't open you got it <laughs> it opens 
yeah, we're all backpedaling, we're all backing up, backing up, expecting something or something to come out. No, nothing comes out that we could see, but the door opened like somebody opened it and came out on the porch. We got that feeling something was on the porch watching us, looking at us, staring us down. And it was then the noise from behind us that scared the crap out of us all over again with a big bright flashlight all in our face. What are you kids doing? The freaking cops showed up. And we were all so freaked out and running around and backpedaling with our backs to the road. The cops must have been driving by, saw the flashlights, and, you know, kids running around like chickens with their head cut off in the yard. And who knows what they saw, but they were like, you kids been in this building tonight? No, sir. No, no. We were all lying like Pinocchio. Our noses were growing. He knew we were lying. I could just tell he knew we were lying. We were kids. We were there in the yard with flashlights all at this old... Why would we not go in? I mean, really, <laughs> he knew we were lying. But he was like, you kids stay away from this place. You know, it's dangerous here. There's, you know, old blah, 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 nails and this and that. And, you know, the floors are rotten. You could Somebody could get hurt. Somebody could get hurt bad in there. and Nobody would know it. Or somebody could fall in that gate to hell in there and never be seen again is what I'm thinking after that experience so I don't know he ran us off we walked back home talking about it the girl my friend's cousin she was just like do you guys do this like regular or do you, is this normal for you guys <laughs> she probably thought we were all lunatics but I think she kind of had fun. Maybe. I never saw her again after that. I don't think she's ever been back to St. Augustine, and that was like 35 years ago. So, who knows? Uh, who knows? Maybe she went back and had the devil's baby. I don't know. But I wonder sometimes. Hmm. Anyway, that's my story of the uh, creepy old little abandoned, some would say haunted house. Uh, it was definitely abandoned. Definitely creepy. Uh, small. Did you have a house like that in your neighborhood? Did you go hang out there when you were kids? Or maybe you went and hung out there last night. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe I'll have to go back down there again now. Uh -huh. No, I would, but actually, they almost tore the place down. They pretty much gutted it. Almost leveled it, rebuilt it, and uh, it's a business now. After all of those years, nobody ever lived in that house that I knew of. Now, there's a business there. Uh, I'll swing by sometime and maybe take a picture. Because I think here somewhere in the house here, maybe in the attic... I got a box of pictures from when I was a kid, and I think I have some pictures of that funky, old, creepy, little abandoned house. And if I do, I'll put them in a video next week or the week after, if I can find them. Anyways, maybe I won't, uh, maybe I will, maybe I'll just try to take a picture of the new place now. And you can imagine the creepiness and the abandonedness that it held several years back. Probably still smells like poop from when we were in there that night, though. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one, and uh, take care. I'll be back soon. Missed last week's video. It happens sometimes. Been having back problems. Those are fun. Not really. But uh, pain meds are good. <laughs> See ya.